What's up guys, welcome to the 5th Android app development tutorial. This is Shakes from Smarthood. This tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial. In the last tutorial, we saw how to create our first application and getting started with the Java file and XML files. Now, in this tutorial, I will explain you each and every folder that we saw in the previous tutorial. Now, let's move forward. First, when we create our first application, we get a pop-up window like this. In this, we had many stuffs. Now, let me explain you each one, one by one. Now, first is the application name. This application name is actually the name that will appear in your Play Store and user can find your app using this name. So, always give your application name a very good name. Now, if you have not given your application a good name, then later on also, you can change your app name no props not an issue so initially you can give any name no props now second is a project name guys this project name is actually the name that appears in your workspace so it is of very less significance but one point to note guys no two project can have the same name in the same workspace it should not collide now the third is a package name this package name as i told you should be unique like a website name and should not clash with any other package of any other app in the Play Store. So always give it a unique name. It's better give your package name a name that is quite unique like your nickname. Now if required you can change your package name later manually if it clashes with any other app package name in the Play Store. So no need to worry about it. Now let's move forward. Now what this source folder stands for this source folder actually contains the packages and inside the package we have the java files like we created the main activity.java so all these java files are stored inside the source folder it is a directory of our app's main source file now these java files mainly contains the class activity which i will discuss in next few tutorials don't worry about it now the second is the general folder which is actually the auto generated java files now we don't have to do anything with these java files because these java files are quite sophisticated and should not be altered or disturbed in any case we should not change the codes inside these java files now Next is the assets folder. This asset folder actually contains the miscellaneous files that contains all the raw data. Like if you want to change the font of our application text. So in that case, we can add the fonts in this. Either you want the Times New Roman or Calibri, whatever. All these fonts you can store inside the assets assets folder as a raw file and you can access these fonts in your java classes to alter the font size or text style by accessing these assets folder you can also add the audio files images text files that is a notepad files or other non android xml files if you require to parse these xml files and add it into the java codes so this is also a quite important folder now next is a bin folder and library folder we don't have to deal with now as of now you just know this asset folder now in this way guys you can store the raw data like text.txt file or avatar.jpg whatever file you want to store inside the assets folder now guys i will continue my discussion in the next tutorial i will discuss about the resource folder drawable folder layout values then also the android manifest.xml which is a very very important file for the app development purpose so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe this is shrakes from smarthood signing off and do share my video and leave a comment below my video thank you